Hi guys, welcome back to the Square Wine and Spirits channel. I'm Megan Kovach, the general manager here at Square Wine and Spirits. Today we are joined by Tiffany Babylonia from Canopy Wine Selections. As you know, we are all about the masks here, but we are going to just disrobe so you guys can hear and see us a little bit better as we talk today. Um, Tiffany is actually the New York sales rep for Canopy Wine Selections. Yeah, Can correct. Right? Canopy Wine Selections is a mostly South African import and distribution company for South African wines. Uh, but they also do really cool British sparkling wines, which are bomb. We've had them. We're going to have them here for the holidays, so check those out. Um, and they also do some Spanish wines as well. Um, so we are going to talk very specifically about Noble Hill wines today. But first, Tiffany, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into wine and your backgrounds? Sure. Well, um, just to shorten the story, right? I was born in New York, um, raised in Puerto Rico. In Puerto Rico, I went to college. I majored in arts. Oh, and cool. yeah, from there, 2008, I decided, let me go back to New York. So came back to New York and I started working in Central White Bike Tours, a bike rental company. From there, I became manager owner. Cool. That was there for like ten years, more or less, and then decided to venture out into the hospitality industry, which I worked uh, as manager of restaurants, and then finally I've been in the wine business for at least like two years, uh -huh. and we can't be now for a year. Awesome. Yes, that's great. So. We have actually carried um, specifically Noble Hill wines for, I think we were actually one of the first retail shops in New York City to, and possibly in the nation, don't quote me on that, we'll have to ask Christopher the winemaker, um, in New York City nationwide when they started importing in the States. So that's, I've been here since 2011. I was the person that brought Noble Hill here and we actually carry the entire range. I'm a huge fan of these wines. It's all classic varietals. Noble Hill doesn't do Pinotage, which is specific to South Africa. So we're not gonna talk about that today. Maybe when we do some of the, Tiffany and I are gonna do a couple of videos together. So maybe when we do some of the other brands, the Lima is one of the other mm -hmm. brands that we carry, yeah. <laughs> So maybe when we do some of the other brands, we'll get into Pinotage and what that's all about. But Noble Hill specifically does very classic varietals, and we carry their almost their entire range. Oh, I forgot to put the um, the Gloria Mundi up here. Oh, that's correct. Yeah, that's okay. We have one other really pretty fancy wine that they um, have. It's on the top shelf. That's why I didn't reach it. <laughs> um, that I forgot to put up here with a really cool label, actually. Uh, that is a great gift wine for the holidays. But anyway, so I actually had the great pleasure of going to South Africa last February, and as many people will tell you when I talk about South Africa, I it was a life-changing trip for me. When I came back, people were like, you're different, you're like more relaxed. You, you like calm down a little bit because everybody in South Africa is so nice. And one of my favorite things about South Africa besides how beautiful it is and how nice everybody is, is that apparently there's no such thing as being late. So for me, that works out really, sure those fantastic it works out really, really well. Yeah, sure. yeah. Um, I think that you were probably supposed to go to South Africa this year, right? I was, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So unfortunately, due to COVID, it was canceled. Yeah. So we're that's... hoping for 2021. Yeah, 2020. Wah, wah. Yeah, right? So, um, we're just going to do one line from Nova Hill today, but I definitely encourage you guys to check out the whole line. These wines are really popular here for us. We have a huge selection of South African wines. As I'm a fan, our customers are a fan. The wines are really delicious. They're really great pairing wines. They're great cocktail wines. You can just pop them and cocktail meaning you can just pop them and drink them and you don't have to pair them with food, but they are also excellent pairing wines as well. And I don't mean just Noble Hill, South African wines in general. South Africa kind of reminds me of California in a lot of ways. I know you haven't been yet, but it's it's really pretty there and it's low humidity and it's really warm. Yeah, yes. weather wise. And not that the wines are like California, but it is warm climate, kind of cool evenings, low humidity. So, you know, they're a little bit less luscious than California wines, but you know, that similar fruity, really palatable, delicious wine style. Um, 
these wines, Noble Hill, are from a place called Siemensburg Parl, and that's where I stayed. You guys might be more familiar with uh, Stellenbosch. Is right, the, this is the, the, like, the famous well -known, mm -hmm. yes, wine region. That's the famous wine region. Um, I did go there briefly, but Siemensburg Parl is more known for their their granite soils. Correct. Um, they have a warmer climate than Stellenbosch, which is to the south. Uh, gotta get, get my map so, right on. Yeah. yeah. So Stevensburg Pearl is kind of like here, and then Stellenbosch is here, and then it's a little bit cooler than Parl, which is here, um, and then it's on the north side of a, of a mountain range. Stevensburg Pearl is like a mountain range here, so it's on the north side of this mountain range, like in here. Um, and Noble Hill, you can actually see on some of the labels here, there is a mountain. yeah a big mountain here. So when I stayed there, you can see it's just mountains all around you and it's really beautiful landscape. It's really awesome. Uh, yeah, thanks. I'm yeah, I know. Like, like, yes, no, I can only picture you. You're going to get your I'm chance. Gonna get you're going to get your chance. Get your chance and you're going to fall in love and have lots of, it's a, it's a really long plane ride. Going was great. Coming back oh, was sure, a little bit of it's full torture. Worth it. It's totally worth it. It's a thousand percent worth it. Um, Oh, one cool fact, I don't know, probably yeah. you do know about no Hill. I probably don't, I don't know. Know. Maybe you do. Um, so if you see on um, the labels of Noble Hill, the keys, so oh, there's yeah. different keys mm -hmm. on every bottle, and which every key is, it will be the, um, so Cab will have a different key. Oh yeah, go show them. So every Viara will have a different key. And these keys resemble when they bought the estate, they came with like 40 different keys for every room and Whoa. even the bathrooms had a key. So they decided, let's put it on the label. So this is why you see in the state reserve, there's four IRL, so there'll be four different keys. That's such so, a sweet little story. Yes. I did go back, yes. Anyway, I thought that was like a cool little It is, it is super more, cool. A it's, more visual, very no, like, yeah, see, yeah. Oh, that's like, like labels, that's yeah. my thing, yes. I love, I, I'm a little obsessed with Noble Hill, especially after staying there. It's really, really cool. They actually have, another little side fact about Noble Hill is they have, so they don't have Mexican food in South Africa, actually. Um, so they had to train their chef. Christopher's mother is from California, so Christopher and his mother run the estate and the winery, and they had to train their chef how to, make Mexican cuisine. So they they basically have the only Mexican restaurant. I don't know if it's in the whole entire country, but definitely in the wine region. And the food is really, really delicious. Which, it's called cosecha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. yeah. And it's really beautiful. It's just so beautiful there. And they have really beautiful, and it, even the architecture and everything, they're not just at Noble Hill. In general, is very California. It's a lot of like stucco um, and the, I don't know how you call these, the red tiles, um, it's, the name is slipping me on top of the buildings right now, but you know, whatever, that kind of, yeah, terracotta tiles, exactly, yes, exactly, terracotta tiles, so it was, it's very California-esque, you know, when we went to, through the little town of Franschuk and Stellenbosch, it's like, it honestly reminds me of the really quaint areas of Beverly Hills, where it's like really swanky and the really beautiful little shops and things like that, it's really cool there. So have fun when you go. <laughs> okay, definitely will. I'll definitely send you pictures. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think that's all the info we really have about Noble Hill for now. We're just going to do one wine today. This is actually a shop favorite. I had this for the first time when I was in South Africa. We were having a picnic lunch next to the little ponds or lake that they have. It's a pond, I believe, um, on the estates. Uh, we were having some just a charcuterie lunch, and we had this for the first time. This is the Crux Mataro, and uh, Mataro is a, another name for Mouvedra, so this is 100% Mouvedra, and it's really, really beautiful packaging. It has the little constellation. Do you know a little, anything more about well, the constellation? It's um, of the southern constellation, so that's why it's called um, the Crux Mataro, and that's why they designed it. That's basically all I know. That's uh -huh. why they designed this, because mm -hmm. I believe, um, the vineyard before Noble Hill was called kind of like Southern Con. Um, I, I really, this is, 
bad information. That's okay. No, but no, no. So, no, so, so, so they information. just grab it out of the Southern Constellation. Okay. And yeah. They this. Yeah, and they have their own little Muevere for um, this specific. So yeah, so it's got this really cute little constellation here. It's got this really pretty indigo label. It's got a beautiful black wax top, and it's a really delicious red wine, which is. I think that it's a fantastic, it's a fantastic all year round wine, but it's also a great, I think like transition because it's a light red and you do drink it chilled. It's a great like summer into autumn wine. It's a fantastic Thanksgiving wine. It is, it's perfect all year round yes. regardless. Yes. Especially you can drink it chilled. So May like, I? Yes, go ahead, take it, show them the So it's got color. this really beautiful, like, I don't, I don't know if you call this ruby red, I was thinking right? the same thing. Like they say ruby. like strawberry, but I think yeah. it's more like that ruby. So, um, we were discussing this before when we were filming. It's, it's carbonic maceration is how they ferment this. And may I explain? Go for it. So, as we deduced, we're not scientists. <laughs> I don't know if we gave that vibe off that we're scientists, but, um, we so carbonic maceration as opposed to fermenting the grapes where you take the yeast and the sugar from the juice of the actual grapes you whole ferment the actual instead of pressing the grapes and push, pressing the juice off and fermenting the juice you allow the the whole cluster while the grape is whole to ferment inside of a tank basically until the fermentation bursts the grape and then you press it off. So you're allowing the it to like explode essentially. Yeah, you're having all these grapes and they just they yeah. like just explode. Mm -hmm. They just like explode them. and then it creates this really fun, bright, fruity flavor profile. And it's something that they use a lot in the Beaujolais region of France with the Gamay grape. And and that's why, you know, they will use it with Beaujolais Nouveau as well. And that's Beaujolais Nouveau tends to be very, very juicy, fruity, easy drinking. So this is a little bit, or a lot of it more nuanced and sophisticated than Beaujolais Nouveau, and really quite a lovely wine. But it's it's really, really it's done in the same style. It's really, really fantastic. And I would imagine that this is quite popular for you guys. It's been very popular this year, that wine. Like, mm -hmm. I take it out, and every buyer is like, oh, this mm -hmm. is a fantastic wine. It, like we were mentioning before, you could drink it like in the summer, fall, spring, whatever category. And basically it goes with pairs with any food. Mm -hmm. like, yes. Yeah. Or you could drink it alone. It's like, really juicy. It's got that nice crunchy pop of mm -hmm. acid. All that pretty red fruit comes out, but it's still a little bit earthy and almost a little bit salinic. So that's what's really nice to go with like those big creamy cheeses mm -hmm. or all those kind of fatty foods that you would have at Thanksgiving, you know? Um, if you're not doing turkey, if you're doing like turducken or duck or anything like that, mm -hmm. this would be really pretty with that. But it's so, so, so yummy and it just kind of makes you want to keep going back for more. And like I said, everybody, anybody that buys this wine always comes back for it a second Wait, time, a, second. a third time, all the time. It becomes their favorite wine. Everybody and it's a beautiful bottle too. It is. You know, it's it's, it's great a... for, like I said, gifting. So. As I always tell you guys, we can ship wine and spirits in New York State and a few other states around the country, like about 11 other states. Um, so if you are looking to gift wine or ship cases of wine to your friends and family, we can put that together for you. Just hop on squarewine.com or email me at tastings at squarewine.com. I can put something custom together for you. All of these are great selections for the holidays coming up. All beautiful packaging, all great for Thanksgiving or just gifts in general. So you guys can definitely contact me or like I said, just hop on the website. We do have the case discount at 15% for 12 bottles mix and match and we're running discounts all the time. I'll pop a discount code, uh, coupon code for all of these wines in the credits of this video. I see you're really liking that, huh? <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. It is actually five o'clock here right now. <laughs> I just don't know when this video is gonna be posted so people will be watching this at like 10 a.m. Whenever, whenever, whenever. So as I said, check these wines out, guys. Tiffany, thank you so much for joining yeah, us. Thank you for inviting me. Of course, and for all the insight. And we will actually see Tiffany again a couple more times this year. I think we're going to do some really fun 
possibly like winter whites. I think we might I do next time, fantastic. right? Yes. So winter whites like and heavy, some nice and like mm -hmm. creamy, and also whites. really good. I think we're gonna do it before Thanksgiving also, Sounds and so they're gonna be some really delicious Thanksgiving pairing. So thank you guys for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Have a great one. Enjoy.